What's up guys, I'm Captain Aaron Stasiak, owner and founder of The Qualified Captain. Uh, you've probably seen on our Instagram page that we offer trauma kits for you guys to kind of stay safe on the water. What's good, what's what's worth having a trauma kit if you don't know how to use the equipment involved? Um, I got DJ Strunz here with me today. That's gonna basically run down the basics. Aaron, thanks so much for having us. Aaron. We're really excited about this collaboration. This is a, a new kit uh, in addition to the trauma kits that you already offer. Uh, this is the new maritime medical kit which uh, meets or exceeds all Coast Guard standards. So it's a great addition for your boat, uh, regardless of size. Safety on the waters are obviously a really important thing. If you follow Qualified Captain, you see the results of bad decisions. And uh, we think it's really important for you to be empowered, to be able to treat your family members, yourself, or uh, someone else. And this is a great way to do it. Most importantly is education and understanding basic first aid, CPR, Stop the Bleed. We're coming into May, which is Stop the Bleed Month. We really encourage everyone to find some local training in your area because nothing beats hands-on training. Uh, it's one thing to watch a YouTube video, it's another thing to actually practice. Alright, so here's the new Qualified Captain Kit and uh, DJ here is about to break it down for you guys. Today we're going to go through the major components for uh, major trauma in the kit. Your standard ouchie boo boo components are obviously included as well, which you'll hopefully utilize way more than, than tourniquets and things like that but it's important to understand how to utilize those major interventions. We build our kits based on something in the military known as MARCH, which is an acronym. M is for massive hemorrhage, A is for airways, R is for respiration, C is circulations, and H is hypothermia. Now, we're not gonna touch all of those today. That's what going and taking a class is all about. Okay, we're gonna start out with this top organizational panel of the kit. We have a set of trauma shears in here to be able to visualize any sort of injury, cut away clothing, wetsuits, whatever you need to do. Behind that is an emergency uh, wrap to keep a patient warm. You have hemostats, great for hook removal, lots of other stuff. A marking pen for writing down any sort of documentation for what interventions you may do on a patient. Obviously some gloves, got to keep yourself safe from other people's bodily fluids or blood. Right here we have all of your over-the-counter medications that are specified in the Coast Guard kit, including your ammonia inhalant, um, antiseptic wipes, basic antibiotic uh, cream, and things like that nature. We have chest seals, a twin pack. That's for anything that, an injury in the chest, front and back. And a very useful burn tech dressing, which is great for abrasions and minor burns that you might encounter on boating. And we also have a sterile scalpel. And that's your top panel. We're gonna go through the major components in the bottom part of the kit now. We have it broken down into very easily identifiable components. The great thing about these is they also tear out, so if you wanna gain access to one, they're Velcroed in, you just pull them right out and utilize them. You have splinting, eye care, bandages, a stop the bleed kit, um, your CPR mask, and a set of pliers. And we'll kind of go into each one of these. We have our splinting bag in the back, has your ACE wraps, a really versatile tool, the SAM splint. You can utilize this um, for splints, C collars, any sort of um, fracture or sprain. It's a great tool. We're not gonna go into a full splinting class, but encourage you guys to get educated on that. Eyes are really important. We like to keep them working. So just your basic eye wash to flush any sort of sand that you might get at the beach out of your eye. We also have polycarbonate eye cups for a, a bigger injury, um, just to protect the eye. We have a variety of bandages in here, ranging from your ouchie boo-boos, all the way up to bigger gauze pads. Um, some petroleum-aided gauze and some wound care capability here. It's really important to flush any wound with either a sal sterile saline solution. You can also utilize your bottled water from your boat, uh, from your drink cooler to make sure you just really irrigate a wound. A CPR mask so you don't have to suck the face of the person that you are uh, providing CPR to. And then the big component that we're gonna really focus on here is our bleeding control. Here's a CAT combat application tourniquet. It, when it comes, it's gonna be wrapped in plastic like this. We encourage you to 
take that plastic off. If you want to keep the directions, that's great, but get it out of the plastic because the last thing you want to be do is be dealing with this when you need to get to this. So you have your cat tourniquet, some gauze, and an emergency trauma dressing. This is a very versatile um, bandage that you can utilize to apply direct pressure to a wound that might not be an arterial bleed, it might not be squirting bright red blood, but you need to stop that bleeding. And we have wound packing gauze. Once again, these two together allow you to treat bleeding in areas where a tourniquet won't work or if bleeding isn't severe enough that it warrants a tourniquet. And that, my friends, are the, is the major components of the new Qualified Captain Maritime Aid Kit. Kit, we really encourage you to get more education. You can go through your local community college, check with your local fire department and find a stop the bleed class or a basic first aid class. It'll really empower you. It takes the fear out of providing aid in a traumatic situation. Just keep in mind in a marine environment around the water, understanding CPR is really critically important. Um, understanding rescue breaths, if it's a drowning, there's just some things that you really want to make sure you're educated on and that you follow up on so that if you encounter something, God forbid, you're ready to deal with that emergency. Okay, your kit comes with an orange cat tourniquet. Today, for training purposes, we're gonna utilize a blue one. Always train with a different tourniquet than what you keep in your kit. This is to save your life. Have a separate tourniquet for training. We wanna introduce you to the cat tourniquet and how to apply it. It's a very simple device. This is designed to occlude blood flow or stop blood flow to an extremity. If you have an injury on a leg or an arm, the idea is to place this two to three inches above that defined wound. If you're not exactly sure uh, the extent of the injury, it is perfectly fine to go high up, as high as you can on that limb, whether it be on the arm or the leg. Follow these simple steps and you're good to go. So for your single-handed application, you're gonna grab your tourniquet, you're gonna shake it out, make a loop, slide it over the limb, and then you're gonna grab this red tip it's really important when you first apply this tourniquet to cinch as much of the slack out of the band as possible. So you cinch it down really tight on the limb. And now you're gonna take your windlass and twist it until the bright red bleeding stops. In this case, I'm only gonna give it one rotation, but it'll probably take you two to three turns to stop that, although one did the trick. Now I'm gonna take my leftover tail pass it through the windlass retention clip. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it back through around the windlass just to lock it more securely into place. And I'm gonna take that time stamp windlass retention strap and put it across and your tourniquet is applied. It's that simple. It's not rocket science, it's super basic, but that buys you the time to get to help and stops that bleeding in your extremity. Okay, we just want to demonstrate a lower extremity or leg application of your tourniquet. A simple scenario could be a prop injury, a shark bite, any sort of injury to your lower extremity, and we want to stop bleeding fast. So we're going to take our tourniquet, we're going to open it up and take it out of the retention buckle. We're going to slide this under his leg, bringing it up through, making sure there's nothing if he's wearing pants in his pocket. I'm gonna take this, and cinch this down as tight as we can. Bring our strap back around. And now we're gonna utilize that windlass. Like before, just like your arm application, we're just gonna give you twist until the bright red bleeding stops. Engage the windlass in the clip. Pull your time strap across. Now the kit comes with a marker so I can write the time that this was applied so that first responders know when I applied my tourniquet and I'm good to go. And you've bought yourself time to get to help.
How's that feel, Aaron? Oh, it's tight. Does that hurt? <laughs> eh, it's tight. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. I want to thank DJ and North American Rescue to come out and break down what's actually inside these kits. They'll be available this spring on our website. And, uh, you know, stay safe this summer, guys. It's going to be a busy one.